So my background was in 1999, I, um, when I was uh, at Stanford University, I started my first company. It was called VivoSmart. Um, we were building e-commerce software. And then one year later, in 2000, we were acquired by Yahoo, and we became the back end for, for what, what became Yahoo Shopping. Um, and then I was a senior engineer at Yahoo for a number of years after that. Then um, in 2004, I joined Google, I became product manager there, and I was part of the team that you know, launched Google Maps and sort of took it from you know, its Google Labs days to kind of the, where it is now, where it's you know, one of the leading platforms for geo information on, on the internet. Um, and then after Google acquired YouTube, uh, I was really excited about that because you know, that, it, it felt to me kind of like Google was back in 2001, you know, really, really popular consumer. Uh, property, but had no business model. So I, I came in and was part of the team there that really built out the um, the monetization programs there. So I I launched the revenue sharing program as well as I did a lot of the partnerships with the uh, TV broadcasters over here in the UK. Um, and then um, uh, and left, I left Google in May, and then I spent about six months as an entrepreneur in residence with Index Ventures. And that was a great opportunity for me to sort of survey kind of you know, what was going on in the startup world. Uh, over here in Europe, and then um, late last year, I decided to um, to start Lightbox. We're now at a inflection point where, like, the next billion people who are going to come online, are you know, their experience is going to be through a mobile device. So it could be a, you know, phone, maybe possibly a tablet, right? So uh, you know, we're already seeing that in the sales of like iPads are now, um, you know, cannibalizing sales of you know, um, netbooks and. And PCs. Right? So, in particular, why you know why why we decided to focus on Android was uh, you know go back a year ago. Um, you know, iOS was at, at the time you know one of the you know, one of the most dom dominant mobile OSs. But you know, and it had grown like was growing like 100% year over year. But Android was growing at a much faster pace. So I think it was like 800% year over year. And my prediction was you know in a few years' time, Android would be the dominant mobile OS. And when we looked at most other companies out there, what we saw was most companies were either doing iOS only, or they were doing iOS first, and then later putting their applications to Android. Um, so if you, if, you, if you go and look at the ecosystem of Android applications out there, you'll see that there's a lot less sort of focus on design and polish in, in, when you compare them to their iOS counterparts. So we decided like, you know, really we needed to create a company that would focus on Android as our primary platform and really bring you know, a really high level of quality and polish to the, to the applications there. The bet that we are making as a company is that by focusing on Android first and focusing on the Android experience all right, and you building lots of Android expertise, we can become the leader in this particular platform. And if this platform becomes the dominant mobile platform, then you know, we'll become a pretty successful company. I love building products. I mean, nothing makes me happier than building things that you know millions of people are using. Um, I mean, the, the only sort of my only other sort of passion in life is swing dancing. <laughs> um, more than ten years so, since you know, university. Um, well, I think there's a great amount of talent over in Eastern Europe and in particular in Romania. Um, back when I was working on YouTube. Um, I spent a year and a half working in the Zurich office, and a very significant part of that team had actually come from Romania. So I knew that there's a great amount of engineering talent. I'm, you know, very excited about coming to How to Web and meeting sort of the entrepreneurs and developers over here in Romania and Eastern Europe.